holy guacamole. This next recipe is going to have you eating the whole bag of chips and probably wanting more. In the Valley today, Zabby Furchner is uh, in Studio B this morning cooking up some delicious dips for us. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa and Jordan. This is the one that I have been <laughs> waiting for. Guacamole in the holy guacamole. I thought it was funny because that's what I was for Halloween. Oh, nice. So we're just throwing it back a little bit. But no, seriously, <laughs> I'm a huge guacamole person. Oh, yeah. So when you brought this in, I was like, oh, my goodness. And so let's dive right into it because there, you can't beat homemade guacamole. Right. Everybody, <laughs> I mean, you hear from people over and over again, they absolutely love guacamole. And we're doing a very traditional guacamole with a little twist. We're adding a little bit of pinto beans Ooh, to our guac today. I've never had beans in my guacamole. Yeah, so I'm excited for you to try that and see what you think. So just start mashing? Yeah, get right in there. And you can make it as um, chunky or as smooth as you want. So I know everybody has like a little bit different preference. So I've just sliced these avocados open and then just did that cut through to try and get some of the chunks. So we got okay. two really ripe avocados, which is really important, right, for making that good mm. guacamole. I could just eat this, but we'll add the other. We'll, we'll add, add the other things. things. <laughs> yeah, we've got a half a cup of mashed pinto beans. Okay, and of course I represent bean farmers, so I obviously want to add beans to things. But you're also adding some nice protein and fiber to your I think guacamole that's kind too. Kind of fun too. Mix it up, maybe yes. if you've never done this type of style guacamole before. Absolutely. Try something new. We've got a lemon here, so we're going to do the juice of all that, which is such an important part of the guacamole, adding that fresh citrus. Oh, yeah. Oh, it makes third it third of a good. cup of red onion, one tablespoon of fresh cilantro. Again, very important for those flavors you're looking for. A tablespoon of jalapeno. Jalapeno. Get I know that you like spice. that piece. And a third of a cup oh, of goodness. red onion. And now you have to make sure you salt... And, and pepper. pepper. Okay. I got you. I have to try get, it. I'm so excited. I'm so get excited. In. Okay, we'll do a potato chip. I tried the pita chips last time. Oh yeah, get that tortilla chip. Oh yep. Does it hit the spot? Yep. <laughs> it's like avocado toast. So it's like breakfast. Yep, with a little extra crunch from the tortilla chip, which makes it even better. Oh my gosh, I love it. Megan is the Martha Stewart of the bean world. She is. I like that. <laughs> That's a good point. Abby, thank you so, so much. Good. We'll check in with you again soon. Prosecutors have.